Hey guys, it's me Jess. Welcome back to another video. So today we are actually putting our decorations up for Christmas. However, if you saw the last video, you'll know that Maria's little baby actually fell out of a swing. And I need to talk to Amelia because Maria seems to think it was Amelia that pushed him. And because of how it happened, I kind of agree with her. So I want to talk to Amelia and find out actually what happened so that I can think of what to do with Amelia going forward. Because as much as I know it's hard for her with Elfie being born, she's got to realise that she can't go around hurting people. But we are going to be putting the Christmas decorations up in this video too. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. Amelia? Yes, Mummy? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing my game on my laptop. Well, can you put it down for a minute, please? I need to talk to you. What's it about, Mummy? I haven't done anything. Well, I need to have a word with you about something. Now, put the laptop down, please, while I'm talking. It's rude to go on a computer when someone's talking to you. There. Done it, Mummy. Right, come and sit here, please. Now, Amelia, you know what happened to Elfie when you was at Daddy's house? What do you mean? I mean, when he fell out of that swing. I already told Daddy it wasn't anything to do with me. But the way you're acting, Amelia, doesn't seem right. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd be honest with me. Mummy, I am being honest with you. But I don't know what to say. Well, it's clear that something happened between you and Elf. But I don't know. I didn't. I don't mean to lie to Daddy, but it was hard, and I'm upset about him being with Daddy and me. No. So you're admitting that you did push Elfie out of the swing? Why? Because that's what Maria thinks happened. Maria is horrible, though, Mummy. So you might think that, but she is right, isn't she? You did do it. Yeah, I pushed him because I hate him. He's horrible. Thank you for being honest, Amelia, at last. Because Daddy told me you told him you didn't do it. I didn't want Daddy to think bad of me. <laughs> Listen, Amelia. What you've done was naughty. You must never hurt anyone else. And I know you're upset. Yeah, but not because he's hurt. So why are you upset? Because I'll get in trouble. Yes, you are going to because you've done wrong. And I've told you before, I do understand it's hard for you all of this, but you can't hurt people and you've had a lot of warnings about your behaviour. But I don't like him. I know, but there are lots of people we don't like, but we can't go around hurting them. Now, you are going to have to be punished for what you've done and you understand that, don't you? Mummy! Come on. What are you going to do? I'm going to take your laptop away from you for a week and you're not going to be allowed to help us do the Christmas decorations. But that's not fair. Christmas isn't to do with Alfie. No, but I have to take things away from you when you're naughty. And I'm glad you finally owned up. I need to let Daddy know. But Daddy doesn't think I did it. I know, but he needs to know the truth, Amelia. Mm. Now I'm going to take your laptop away and you can sit in your room and you can calm down. But I do think you need to talk to somebody about how you're feeling. Like who? Well, maybe I'll see if I can get you to talk to someone at the doctor's. Why? Because maybe they can help you to understand why you feel like this. Because at the end of the day, Elf is your little brother. But I don't want him to be my brother. And I never asked for a brother, Mummy. I know you never asked for a brother. But Daddy and Maria, they decided to have a baby. And that makes him your half-brother. You could have had a really lovely relationship with him. Just like Amy. But you're finding it hard to accept him, and that's okay, but I think you need to talk your feelings through with someone. Okay, I'll go there. Good girl. Now I'm going to take your laptop, and you can sit in your room and calm down for a bit. And miss out on the decorations. 
Yes, you're going to miss out on the decorations and you're going to sit here and calm down, okay? Why don't you move over to your own bed? Mm, not fair! Right, well, that's it then, and I'll get you when dinner's ready. Right, let's grab your laptop. Right, Amy, look, we've got all of these decorations to put up. We've got our Christmas tree up already. What do you think of it, sweetheart? I think it looks so pretty, Luke. Can I put this up? What is this for? That's a Christmas stocking. When Santa comes, you put that over here by the fireplace and then he fills it up with sweets and lots of exciting little toys. Wow, that sounds cool. I want to put it up and put this sparkly things on our tree. And there's Santa. Eee. Well, we can do all of that right now. Do you want to put some balls on the tree too? Yes, please, Luke. I'll grab some of this. <laughs> I'll start putting it on now. Our Christmas tree is massive this year. And Amelia can help. I think Amelia's upstairs talking to Mummy. I guess she'll be down soon. Jessie, you're bringing Amelia down. Oh, hi, Luke. No, I'm not going to be. I've just finished talking to her and she admitted to pushing Elfie off of the swing. So I've had to punish her and I told her one of her punishments is she can't help with the decorations. So she was guilty. Maria was right. Yeah, Luke, she admitted to everything. I just don't know what I'm going to do with her. I think she needs therapy, to be honest with you. Talk her feelings through with someone professional, you know? Yeah, that might not be a bad idea, Jess. Anyway, what have you two been up to down here? Oh, we've been putting the decorations up. Well, Amy, those Christmas decorations look lovely. I love the Christmas tree. Luke, help me. It looks so beautiful. Shall I help you put this tinsel on there? And Amelia. Yes, but Mummy, where is Amelia? Amelia's up in her bedroom, sweetheart. She's having some time to reflect about a few things. She's not going to help with the Christmas decorations this year. But don't worry, we will still do it all. Oh, okay, Mummy. I'll get Santa out the box. That's a good idea, Amy. And I'll put this tinsel around the tree. Just do you think Amelia's okay up there? Yeah, I just think she needs some time to herself. And I really hope the therapy will work, Luke. I mean, I've always thought that if you talk to someone professional, it helps get things off of your chest, right? Yeah, you're right. I definitely think you're doing the right thing by getting her to talk to someone. It's better to get her feelings out than to keep them bottled up. Exactly, and I know she doesn't like Elfie, but she needs to accept Ryan's moved on. Like we're moving on, Jess. I know, but at least we're taking it slowly so it's easier for her to understand. You're right, Jess. Anyway, let's carry on doing this tree, shall we? I think so, but do you think she'll feel like she's missing out? Well, that is kind of the point. I do want, I know it's hard for her, but I do want her to understand the difference between right and wrong. And sometimes the only way to make someone understand is to make them miss out on things, you know? Actually, yeah, I think you're right. And I think Ryan will come round to the idea of her having counselling. I really hope so, Luke. There you go, Santa. Put him by the TV. He looks cute there. And it looks like the tree's about done. We've even got our star on top. I think the Christmas decorations this year look perfect. I sometimes think less is more with decorations. Don't you agree, Luke? Definitely. And we're all ready for a lovely family Christmas. I agree. Maybe your daughter would like to join us for Christmas Day, Luke. You know she's always welcome. I'd love to meet her. That's really kind of you, Jez. And thanks for the suggestion, but I don't think she'd want to. Okay, it was just an idea. Yeah, no worries. 